Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this awesome munching monster laundry bag. This is so much fun. The mouth opens to put your laundry inside. How fun is that? This is such an easy project, fun to make. It's just a little tedious with all the pieces, but don't worry, I will show you how to make every single piece in this project. First things first, I'll get into the supplies and then I'll answer the frequently asked questions and then we'll get into making this hamper. So the first thing is a big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn for this project. The main color we are using is Super Safe stripes. This is sort of a newer yarn and it is fabulous. This specific color is called Favorite Stripe. It's very rainbowy. Uh, it just turns out really nicely with the striping pattern all the way up. So that is our main color. You are going to need about 500 yards of this and each ball turns out to be 236 yards each. So you are going to need about two and a partial of another. So I'll get three skeins of this yar um, yarn this yarn is super fabulous. It's a size 4 worsted weight medium yarn. So uh, if you want to get something equivalent to this, just get a worsted weight or like a double knitting style of yarn. So uh, very nice and easy to use. Also, you are going to need other colors. Um, the color of my arms and legs are this color, Pumpkin. This is a Red Heart Super Saver solid yarn. You aren't going to need much of that, about 50 yards of the orange um, color for the arms and legs. And then I used a little bit of rouge, which I don't actually have this um, label for this one. It is a Super Saver color. This is for the lips. You're going to need less than 20 yards of rouge, okay? This is the lips color. And then black and white, you're going to need about 20 yards of each of those colors as well. We're using white for the teeth and the eyes and then the black we're using the inside of the mouth area and the pupils of the eyes so just a little bit of black and white and then a tad bit of yellow I don't even have yellow out here because I think we're just using about a yard of yellow just for a little detail in the hands and feet we're just adding these cute little claws uh, so those are all the colors now as for the crochet hook we are using a G hook today this is a G6 hook. It is super fancy and this is the uh, crochet hook that I got at the Etsy shop would be fancy. I will put the link in the description of this video where you can get this fabulous hand carved ergonomic hook. You can get your own and the holidays are right around the corner you guys. These are great for anybody with arthritis or just wanting to feel comfortable with crocheting. I'll put that link in the description of this video so you can get that at the Etsy shop would be fancy. You're also going to need a stitch marker. I don't have a legit stitch marker. I'm just using a regular piece of yarn to mark my rounds because we are going to be working in continuous rounds in this project. You're going to need two buttons because look at the back of this bag here. We are making straps to go around a towel rack in the bathroom. And then we're adding these two buttons so that you can easily remove it and put it back on the towel rack in your bathroom. So uh, you can use buttons for that. You're going to need a, a yarn needle to sew on all your appliques and pieces and sew in some ends and all that good stuff. And then a scissors to cut your yarn. And a measure tape is um, optional. You can get this fancy one at Amazon. I put the link in the description of this video for this specific one. Um, but you can measure your piece out. I was doing measurements earlier and that leads us to our frequently asked questions. So what size is this? Well, the length of this piece from right to here, right above the legs, all the way up to the top, right about here, is, let's see here, length is 24 inches. Just the bag part is 24 inches, okay? And that's 60 centimeters long, okay? Now, if you want to have the measurement from the bottom of the leg, to the top of the straps that's 28 inches long which is 71 centimeters that's with the legs and the straps and the width of this bag just the bag part is 13 inches wide 
so that's 26 inches around circumference around and that is 31 centimeters across here okay and then the length from this arm across this to this arm is 22 inches across which is 56 centimeters across this way so that is uh, the measurements now each arm is five inches and each leg is four inches long okay this mouth opening across here is nine inches long okay so that's about 18 inches around you can fit you know clothes in here t-shirts pants towels socks anything really can fit in here and you could use this as a laundry hamper or you could use it as a toy bag too if you wanted to you could even add a zipper if you wanted to use it as a backpack you add different straps in the back you can really I mean this is such a versatile pattern you can do whatever you want with it but I'm just going to demonstrate how to make this specific item the um, munching monster laundry bag so before we begin I have to mention there are links in the description of this video I know I did say that there's links to all these products you can get all of these products all the yarn at redheart.com you can get that crochet hook the scissors the buttons all that good stuff in the description of this video you can also find the free written pattern on yarnutopia.com so make sure you check that out and uh, while you're on my website you know a pattern like this would be would go for you know if, if it was a paid pattern it would go for a few bucks so while you're at my website yarnutopia.com why not check out that sidebar and click the support button if you are making this item please support yarn utopia so we can continue to bring you free content it is free clear quality crochet content all over yarnutopia.com and a big huge thank you goes out to my dad right behind me he is doing all the videography editing and photography for yarn utopia so big thank you to him for doing that so now let's just get started and make this fabulous munching monster laundry bag All right, let's start out by making the bag part first. So let's make a slip knot. Put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. I'm just, I'm, I know I'm gonna love this striping yarn. It's so beautiful. All right, so let's start out by chaining 51. So yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two and three and four and five I'm not gonna make you watch me chain 51 it'll be such a waste of time so just chain 51 and then I will meet you up for round one alright so I chained 51 here this is about 12 inches for me now if you want yours to be wider or skinnier obviously you can chain as many as you want this is not in a multiple of anything it's just by measurements so if you want to chain more or less to make it a skinnier bag or a wider uh, bigger bag you can chain as many as you want so going on to round one we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook so the loop on the hook isn't counting as anything so count one and two this chain right here and what I like to do is turn my chain toward me like this and work in those back ridges of the chain just because we'll be working on the opposite side of our foundation chain later and it'll be easier to work in there so go in that second chain right here go into that back ridge and then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops Okay, that's a single crochet so then we're gonna do that in each chain across here so go into this next chain and then yarn over and pull that yarn through and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay go into the next chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two okay next chain right here go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and just continue doing that all the way across when you get to the very last chain I'll show you what to do in the last chain and we'll turn this around and work on the foundation row again all right now on the last chain right here what we're going to do is put three single crochets in there so one go back in for two and three okay 
just like that. Now what we're going to do is, you can see I'm turning my work around like this, okay? Because we're going to work on our foundation chain going back around. And I'm going to crochet over the top of this straggler right here. So what we're going to do now is, since we put three single crochets in this chain right here, we're going to hop to the next chain, or the next stitch now. It looks like a stitch right here. Okay, so go into the stitch right there and then yarn over and pull through. We're just single crocheting across here. Yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so now we're just going to single crochet across back to the beginning and when there is one stitch left I'll meet you up because I'll show you we have to actually put two stitches in the last stitch and then we can go on to round two. Alright, coming up to the end here, now in this very last stitch right here, you can see our first single crochet was put in there right here. We are going to put two single crochets in that stitch right here. So go put two single crochets in there. So there should be three single crochets in there in total because our first single crochet is in there already. Now for this bag we are going to work in continuous rounds so I'm sticking a piece of yarn in here to mark my rounds. You can put a legit stitch marker in there if you want to uh, to mark your rounds and what we're also going to do is for this bag is work in the back loops only. Now usually we work through both loops just like this. Both loops here, both loops here, both loops here. The loop that's closest to you right here is called the front loop, okay? Then that loop back there is called the back loop for obvious reasons, it's the back loop. So we are going to work just in the back loops for this whole bag and we're working in continuous rounds and all we're going to do for rounds 2 through 65 is go in the back loop, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two. We're going to single crochet in each stitch for these rounds. Now rounds 2 through 65 we're just working in a continuous spiral working in the back loops only and I just like the back loops just because of this texture you can see the lines here um, really kind of poke out and it's a really nice look to the bag but if you want to you definitely can work through both loops it is not um, you know it's not a thing I just I just personally like to do that but we're gonna work in the back loops for the demonstration today and we are going to single crochet in each stitch around for rounds 2 through 65 and I've actually have a piece of um, the rest of this actually made so I'm actually going to pause here and grab my other one that's already done. Now you can continue, you can pause this video and I'm going to grab my finished piece here that is finished with round 65 here. Now you can see this is what your work should look like at that point. So we just did a single crochet in rounds 2 through 65 working in the back loop only and this is what it should look like up until this point and your piece should measure about 18 inches. Um, let me make sure here. Yep, it's approximately 18 inches, which is about 40, 45, 46 centimeters, okay, as you can see there. So that is how long it should be. Now, again, like I said in the beginning of this video, you can make this as big or small as you want. You can go on to making more rows, or you can stop at a certain point and make your uh, body part a little bit smaller. But at this point, round 65, we are going to... I just have a few stitches left here actually, <laughs> I have to finish, but um, once I finish these few stitches here, I'm going to show you how to make the mouth and we are going to chain a little bit. So if you needed to, like I said, though, pause this video, catch up to me to round 65 and then once we have these rounds done, we can go on to making this mouth, so I'm almost there, just keep with me here, there we go, alright, so once you're at the edge, okay, you're at 
your beginning of your round right here is uh, the edge and if you flatten this out you'll see that you are on a crease right along this side here okay and that's where we started so now what we want to do is when you're at the very beginning of your round you want to single crochet let's see this is round 66 now okay we're gonna single crochet into the first eight stitches so again you can stick that uh, stitch marker back into this spot right here okay again if you have a legit stitch marker it might work a little easier now we're gonna single crochet into the first eight stitches so one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now this is where I want my mouth to start. Now if you wanted your mouth to be bigger, you can just single crochet in like three stitches and then just chain more for your mouth if you want to make your mouth bigger. But I think 34 stitches across here is a big enough mouth. So what I'm going to do now at this point is chain 34. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three. Three, just like the beginning of this video I'm not going to make you watch me chain all these chains so I'm just gonna chain 34 and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to the next step all right so I've chained 34 here so this is what it looks like right here so now what we're going to do is skip 34 chains on our bag here and I have marked the 35th stitch is where we're going to start working in so skip 34 stitches across this uh, mouth area this opening here and then in the 35th stitch the next stitch over we are going to single crochet into there so go in and we're going to work in the back loops only so just remember that Nadia <laughs> so go in the back loop of that stitch okay I just marked it with my needle but you can mark it however you need to and then yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through two and then we're just going to single crochet in the rest of the stitches of this round till we get back to where our stitch marker is back here. So we're just single crocheting in the back loop only for the rest of this round. Very simple um, round. We're just, we just chained that and skipped those stitches. Now for the next round, round 67, I'll show you how to uh, single crochet uh, in each chain because we're going to actually just continue with the single crocheting method but we're going to put one single crochet in each chain of that mouth opening so I'll show you how to do that when I come back around and we'll go on to round 67 together alright when you come back around we're just gonna move the stitch marker up and we are going to like I said for round 67 we're just single crocheting in each stitch and in each chain of that mouth so let me get to that mouth here and I'll show you what we're going to do Oopsie. there we go alright so in this mouth you can see here the chain looks like this just like our foundation chain I'm going to flip it toward me okay so kind of twist it and I'm gonna go in this back ridge of this first chain right here and then single crochet okay oops that's a little bit of a loose single crochet let's try that again <laughs> go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two there we go then continued with twisting this toward you and working in those back ridges okay it does not really matter uh, where you put this because actually this row is going to be kind of covered uh, with the you know mouth and teeth part that we create later but just personally I like to crochet into each chain and you can but you can crochet into e any loop that you want of your chain it's totally up to you but that's how you crochet in the chain and then when you get to the other side obviously just single crochet in the back loop of each stitch around and then I'll uh, I'm just gonna do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up then we'll go on to round 68 All right, moving on to round 68. Actually, the next um, round 68 to 88, about 20, 
rounds or so, 21 rounds, we're just going to work in the back loops only and just single crochet. And then, um, so it's, you know, you can make this as big as you want though. Like you can do, you know, 20 rounds. I'm doing 21 rounds till round 88. Uh, you can do, you know, 20 or 30 rounds, however much you want the top part of this bag to be, you can continue however long you want your bag to be. So I'm just going to do that, working in the back loops only, just single crochet, working in a continuous spiral, basically, continuous rounds, and we're just single crocheting. And, um... Yeah, once I finish round 88, we're actually going to fasten off with a long tail and we're actually going to sew the top closed. And I'll show you how to do that when I get there. So good luck and I will then meet you up when I finish round 88. Alright, so I ended up going to round 90, but you can make your part, uh, your top part here as long as you want. So this is what it should look like right now. You have your mouth hole, the inside of the bag here, and then this and don't look at this here okay so we're going to now fasten off and then sew on or sew this top part closed here so what we're going to do is slip stitch into this next stitch right here under both loops now I'm going to go in the front and back loop and then yarn over and pull through and through okay and then chain one and we're going to cut our yarn quite long for sewing Okay, and then we're going to continue to pull it through that chain. Okay, just like that. Awesome. Now what we're going to do to sew this, we're actually going to pull this in from this hole here. So you see this mouth, this is going to be the mouth of the monster. We're going to go inside of there and flip this out. Okay, both sides, all of it. Okay, just like this. So now it's inside out. Okay, and we want to kind of line it up how we're going to have it. If you want to, what you can do is have it right side out like this. And then if you want to like pin down, you know, like two stitches or something. I don't know where my stitch marker went. But if you want to grab a little thing here and kind of just put a piece of yarn. Oh, there's my stitch marker, silly me. Right at the edge here so that you know which stitches have to go with each other. Okay, just like that. You can even tie it like that. Okay, so now let's do that again. Go in and pull this out of the mouth like so. Okay, now what we're going to do, since these are like this, we're going to fold it at that point, okay, and sew this closed. So grab your yarn needle and that long strand that we cut and yarn your needle with that. Okay, I'm going to then remove the stitch marker. Okay, we're going to come way over here to these two stitches and just go through both of those stitches. Okay, then I'm going to come over here to these two stitches right here and right here. Okay, and this is called a whip stitch. We're going in the same way every time. So going into this side, out this top side here, and then pulling. Okay, going back through the same side every time to the next stitch. And this next one. Okay, just make sure that they line up then all the way across, just like so. So I'm just going to do that all the way across, and then once this is fully closed, we can put it right side out again, and we can, I'll meet you up and we'll go on now, then we can make the embellishments. All right, when you've sewn all the way across, we're just going to fasten off here. So let's go into a few stitches here. I like to keep my finger in that loop and then come back through that loop and then pull tight, remove my thumb, and pull tight. 
okay? And you can do that once or twice, it's secure, and then we're just gonna sew in this end underneath the stitches that we just made, the whip stitches. So just go underneath there, and weave that in. Okay, and then we're gonna cut that, stretch it out, make sure it's completely hidden, looks good. And then we can put this back into our bag here. Okay, and then just poke out the corners, like that. Okay, and that looks good. Awesome. You can kind of stretch it out. Awesome. So there is the bag. So now uh, we are going to make, we're going to start from the top and work our way down for the embellishments. So let's start with the straps in the back here. Now if you want just a plain bag, a nice big plain rainbow bag, you know, for your dorm room or something or uh, for your own closet or something or your bathroom, um, you can, uh, you don't have to do any embellishments. Just follow along with the straps that go around the towel bar and then you can be done. So let's grab some more stripe yarn. I'm going to fold this up and set this aside. Set it over there. Okay. And then we're going to grab our stripes yarn. You can use any color you want. Let's make a slip knot. So short end over the long end. Then fold that down and pull the long end through and pull tight. And then insert your hook and chain 11. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and across. Just like I showed you in the beginning, we're going to turn this toward us, go in that back ridge there, the second chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two loops. Okay? just single crochet across this. At the end of this row you'll have ten single crochet and then I'll meet you up for row two. Alright, just finished row one, so we just have a simple single crochet row. So let's go on to row two. Let's chain up one and turn our work around. And now we're going to single crochet in the first four stitches here. So go into this first one right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, next stitch is two, next stitch is three, and the next stitch is four. Now let's chain two, so yarn over and pull through one and two, and then skip two stitches, one and two, and then single crochet into the last four stitches on this row. So one, two, three, and last stitch here is four. Oopsie. There we go. Okay, so we've created the buttonhole right there. Okay, so now we can go on to row three. Let's chain up one and turn our work. We are going to single crochet across, working in each stitch and each chain. Okay, so very similar to what was that row, row 66 on there bag there. We worked in each stitch, except this is working in both loops here. <laughs> and then each chain, if you want to though on this one, you can put two single crochets into the chain space, and that is totally fine. And then single crochet in those last four stitches there. One, two, three, and four. Okay? just like that. So now rows 4 through 12, we're going to chain 1, turn our work around, and then single crochet in each stitch for a total of 10 stitches across on each row. That's rows 4 through 12, okay? So I'm going to do that, and then I'll meet you up when I'm finishing row, or row 12. We'll then uh, go on to crocheting around this whole piece. 
Alright, so now I have finished just row 12 here. There's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 rows. So now I'm going to chain 1, turn my work around, and we're going to single crochet around this whole thing. So I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across here, basically like a row 13 here. But in the last stitch here, let me continue here and I'll show you, we're going to put 2 single crochets in the last stitch to turn the corner. So here I am, last stitch right here, put two single crochets in there. One and two. And then single crochet along this side. Now we're going to just go wherever the hook fits, whoopsie, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And just continue to single crochet to clean up that edge and make it look pretty. It's just a small little detail, but uh, it'll look better on the bag later. So now I'm just single crocheting wherever my hook fits along this side. And then when I get to the corners, I'm going to put two single crochets in each corner. When we get back to the beginning, I'll meet you up because I'll show you how to fasten off and then we can make another one and sew it to our bag. Alright, you can see here I just put a single crochet in that same stitch that this first single crochet is in, so in this corner there are two stitches. So now let's slip stitch to that first single crochet right there, yarn over, pull through and through. And now we can fasten off, so let's chain one, cut our yarn kind of long for sewing, and then pull that all the way through and pull it tight, okay? So now I just need you to make one more of these, so you have two straps in total. I used the stripe yarn, and so it kind of doesn't match, but it's kind of cool still, because there's stripe yarn. So now I'm going to show you how to sew on one, and you can sew on both of them yourself. So let's grab our bag here and we are going to start at the top here. This is our front. This is where our, the hole is. So we're going to sew this to the back. So let's turn this over here. Okay. This is the top of our bag though. Okay. We want to sew it to the top of the bag and we're going to turn this around. Now you can see that this is the front of the strap because you can see the stitches along this edge here. Okay, you can see these look like little V's here, right here, right here, like this. These are little V's. Now if you flipped this over, you would not be able to see those. Okay, those are gone. So this is the back of your work, and this is the front of your work. Okay, so what we're going to do is flip this to the back. So we're looking at the back side. Make sure that your buttonhole is up here, okay? Just like this. Okay, and we're going to sew along this bottom part right here to the very top of our bag right here. Okay. And you can always see the photos, you know, see the guide of the photos and where your position should be of this piece. Uh, but I'm just going to yarn my needle with the long strand that we cut. And right at the very top here, I'm going to go in about, I don't know, two fingers, maybe three fingers in. You don't really have to measure a whole lot on this part here. And we're just going to whip stitch this to those front loops that are free on the front of this piece right here. I'm just going to skip over it. This, this, this is the seam right here where we sewed it closed. And just one row down, we're going to go through these stitches and the stitches on our strap. Okay, and we're just going to whip stitch this. So going in here and here. Okay, just like that. And I'm just going to sew this all the way across and then I'm going to sew on my other one and when I'm finishing up my other my other strap you can then see the positioning of where uh, it should go and everything and I'll show you how to fasten off when I finish that one. Alright, so I just sewed on that other strap and I sewed on this button here as you can see and I'm sewing on this strap now. To fasten off, what we're going to do is go through the two stitches on the end here, keep the finger in the loop and then go back through the loop and then pull it tight. 
okay? And like I said earlier, you can do that once or twice. Just go back through and then go around and into that loop and pull tight. And then to sew in this end, we're just going to go underneath the stitches that we made and pull and cut and stretch. There we go. And then I sewed on this button here, so now you can button that, and there is a loop for the towel bar handle. So that will stay on there. So now we have to sew on the other button for this side over here. So I have just a strand of yarn here and a button right here. Okay. And what we're going to do is going to be kind of tricky. You want to pinch this with one hand and go into the hole up in here. Okay. And then you want to insert the hook, or I'm sorry, the needle right through there. And then put that on there. It's kind of hard to show. There we go. And then just kind of pull a little bit and then just crisscross that back into the bag and pull from the inside. Okay, and you want this button to be right at the base of where the strap is, so right in the center along here. So make sure you position that correctly and then you want to end on the inside of the bag. Just don't sew the bag closed. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's on there. Then you want to turn this inside out where it's at, right here. Okay, and we're going to tie these two strands in a knot. Oh, I must have gotten tangled up in this one here. There we go. Okay, so we have this one and this one. So we're going to tie these in a knot, just a simple knot. Okay, then we're going to take these two strands with our yarn needle. Yarn our needle with those two. And then sew that in underneath the strand or underneath the stitches but behind the button okay and then you can cut that nobody's even gonna see it and then there you have it nice button there and our strap can be buttoned like that there we go Awesome. So both straps are done. So now, flip this back to the front, we are going to actually set this aside and make the two eyes. So let's fold this up, move this across here, let me grab some black yarn and some white yarn. Okay, let's start with the white yarn. We're going to make the outer part of the eye. So let me grab my pattern here. We're going to chain or make a slip knot first. So short end over the long end, fold that down and pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook and then chain two. So oopsie. Yarn over and pull through. One and two. Okay. In the second chain from the hook, we are going to put six single crochets. So go into that second chain right there, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. There's one. Go back into that same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. There's two. Here's three. Here's four. five and six. Now I am going to work in continuous rounds and in the back loops only. So I'm going to grab a stitch marker here 
just another piece of yarn scrap piece of yarn here I'm gonna move that in there and just like the big bag part we are going to work in those back loops there for round two of the eye we are going to put two single crochet in each stitch around so in the back loop of this first stitch right here go in and make a single crochet and then go back into that same stitch for another single crochet okay just like that two single crochets in that stitch hop to the next and work in the back loop there and put two single crochets in the next stitch and in each stitch around so you should have um, 12 single crochets at the end of round two and I'm halfway there so you can just continue watching one two one two and last one here one and two fabulous so you have 12 stitches there move the stitch marker up and going on to round three we are going to put we're going to increase again here let's put two single crochets in this first stitch one and two and then one single crochet in the next stitch and just repeat that sequence all the way around so two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next then two single crochets in the next and then one single crochet in the next okay so at the end of round three you should have 18 single crochets so I'll do that and I'll meet you up for round four all right moving the stitch marker up going on to round four we're going to put two single crochets in the first stitch one and two and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches so one and one and then just repeat that sequence all the way around so two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches okay at the end of round four you will have 24 single crochets so I'm going to repeat this sequence and then I'll meet you up for round five Alright, I have 24 stitches all the way around. Moving the stitch marker up, we are going on to round 5 now. Putting two single crochets in the first stitch. Okay, remember back loops only for this whole piece here. And then one single crochet in the next three stitches this time. One, one, and one. Okay, and then just repeat that sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches and at the end of round five we'll have 30 single crochets and I'm going to do that and then at the end of this round we'll be able to fasten off all right finished with round five we have 30 stitches around I just removed my stitch marker and we're going to slip stitch into this next stitch I'm going under both front and back loop yarn over pull through and through and then chain one and to fasten off we're just going to cut this yarn quite long for sewing and then we're going to pull it through that chain one that we made there and then pull tight and that is secure and you can kind of push down those increase corners there and make it more of a circle circular shape and there you go so just make one more of these so you have two eyes here and now we're gonna grab the black yarn and we are going to make the pupil so I'm gonna set these aside and the um, the pupil is very simple very uh, we're gonna do a slip knot here just like I showed you earlier and insert your hook Okay. we're going to chain two so yarn over and pull through one and two and just like uh, the eye the other part of the eye for the white part we're gonna put six single crochets in the second chain from the hook so if it is difficult to see my stitches with the black yarn you can always rewind this to the white part and view the six stitches into the second chain there one two three four five and one more six awesome now what we're actually going to do for this part is slip stitch to the first single crochet so count back six one two three four five six this first stitch right here I'm going to go under both front and back loop and yarn over pull through and through for a slip stitch 
okay? For round two, we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna put two single crochets in each stitch around, and I am working in both loops for this uh, piece. Okay, just like, um, you know, for the for the other piece, for the white piece, we worked in the back loops only, but for this piece, I'm working in both loops. And you can see I'm putting two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches on this round. So I'm almost there. You can continue watching here. One and two. Okay, one stitch left, one and two. Okay, so when you come back around, when we're going to close this, we're going to go into the first single crochet of this round right in here, yarn over and pull through and through, just like that. And just like the other piece, chain one, cut your yarn long for sewing and pull it all the way through and then pull tight. And if yours has a little hole in the center right there, as so you can see my finger in the back there, woo, we are actually going to sew that closed. Uh, if you wanted to, you could have started this piece with a magic ring and that would have eliminated this step of sewing this end in and sewing this closed but I didn't start that way so I'm just going to show you that I'm just going to sew this in at the base of the stitches from round one, cinching that closed and there disappeared. Fabulous! So now I just need you to make one more of those just like this one here. Okay, so we have two of those and now we have four pieces. And what we're going to do is sew this to this piece and then sew this white piece to our bag. So very simple. We're just going to go in and out of this piece. So I'll show you because I haven't showed you how to um, put this type of piece together. I'm going to grab my hook and grab that little straggler in the center and pull it to the back. Okay. And we're just going to go in and out of this piece. Okay, I'm working a little fast for the camera, but you can obviously take your time, make it look nice and neat. Okay, and you have to do it for both eyes just like this. And then we'll sew this to the bag, which I'm almost done. I'll show you how to fasten this off. Okay, so you want to end on the opposite end, the back side here. Okay, and you can either tie it off or you can tie this in a knot. Okay, just like this. These two strands in the back, nobody's going to see these. So just going to tie a little knot there and then cut all three of these strands a little shorter. Okay, and there we have that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew this one on later. We're going to grab our bag here, make sure we have the mouth opening part there. And the eyes are going to go right at the top there, okay, right about here. Okay, and just like how we sewed this black piece to this white piece, we're going to sew this white piece to this bag. So do that and tie it off. Uh, you know, you can fasten it off just like I showed you earlier how to fasten off on this piece. Just tie it in a knot, you know, go through a few stitches, tie a loop, and go through the loop and everything. So I'm going to sew these together. Sew this piece and onto this piece and then we're going to sew these both onto this bag. Just make sure when you're sewing this on not to sew it your bag closed. That's just one thing um, that I want to advise you to do before I go and I will be back and we will make the mouth pieces. All right, I'm just sewing in our, on this other eye here. I just want to show you how to fasten off. We're going to end on the inside of the bag. And then we're going to go underneath a few of these stitches here and then fasten this off. Just go through that loop and pull tight. Okay, and you can do that twice. Okay. 
Okay. And then sew in this end between the two layers of the eye and the bag. Okay. And then cut any extra just like that. And there it is. Awesome. Looks good so far. You could leave it like this, but I just want to have a few more details, so we're going to make this mouth here. Hello. <laughs> so let's um, grab our black yarn first. We're going to make the outline of the inside of the mouth here. So let me fold this up and set this aside. Grab some black yarn. Okay. So in the pattern, this is considered the inner mouth okay with black make two of these so let's ch uh, start with a slip knot here and we're gonna chain 35 okay so yarn over and pull through one two three I'm not gonna make you watch me chain 35 so just chain 35 and I'll show you row one all right so I have my chain here so in the second chain from the hook we are going to single crochet so the loop on the hook doesn't count so count one and two and just like I showed you before I'm going to turn this toward me work in those back ridges and we're going to go into that second chain yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two okay we're single crocheting just across this chain in each chain across just single crochet so at the end of row one you will have 34 stitches so I'm gonna do that and I'll meet you up for row two alright I have the 34 stitches across here so now there we go so now we're going to go on to row two let's chain one and then turn the work around okay and we are going to single crochet two together so these first two stitches here we're gonna single crochet them together so go into this first one yarn over and pull through go directly into the next stitch yarn over and pull that through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook okay that's a single crochet two together or a single crochet decrease stitch now we're just going to single crochet in each stitch until there are two stitches left on this row and the last two stitches we're going to single crochet those two together so let me get there and i'll show you and then we'll go on to row three Alright, I have two stitches left here, so we're going to single crochet those two together. So go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Go into this last stitch, yarn over and pull through. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So after row two, you should have 32 stitches left. So now going on to row three, chain up one, turn your work around. And we're going to repeat row two until there are 20 stitches left. So row three, we're going to have 30 stitches. Let's single crochet two together and then single crochet into each stitch across until two stitches remain and then single crochet those two stitches together. Okay. So after row three, you'll have 30 stitches. Then row four will have 28 stitches. Then row uh, five will have 26 stitches. Row six will have 24 stitches. Row seven will have 22 stitches. And then row eight, our last row is row eight and we will have 20 stitches at the end of row eight. If you need to, you can follow along with the written pattern. I am just going to repeat row two until I have 20 stitches. When I finish row eight, I'll meet you up and we'll fasten this off and then go on to the next step together. All right, once you finish row eight, you can see your piece should look like this. And you can see on both edges, it goes inward because we decreased on each stitch. So that's how it should look. So you should have 20 stitches after row eight. So let's fasten this off. We're going to chain one and then fasten off with a long tail because we're actually going to be sewing this to our bag and we want the tail to be quite long. Just continue to pull that through 
that chain one there and pull tight okay so now I need you to make one more of these so you have two of these in total okay and what we're going to do one is going to be the top and one is going to be the bottom so it's going to be like this and that's the mouth okay so grab your bag once you have both of these made we can sew them to our bag here and we have the top mouth piece Okay. Don't worry about these edges not being like round or anything because uh, the lip, the lips are gonna cover them. Okay, and then the bottom mouthpiece. Okay, and we're just sewing them around this hole right here. Okay, so we're just gonna sew them down. I know it's gonna look weird. It kind of looks like a duck or something <laughs> right now. But what we're gonna do is take the long strand that we cut. Okay, yarn our needle with that and I'm just going to sew it on exactly how we sewed on the eyes. So we're going to, I'm going to take this one off here, but starting with the bottom here, I'm going to go into the bag. We're just going to line this up with the stitches on the whole area, okay, and my thing starts here. So I'm going to go in and then out. Okay, I have one hand inside of the bag so I don't sew my bag closed, so that's one um, main thing that you want to make sure about is not to sew your bag closed. But we're just going across here in and out, just like this. Okay, So make both of these pieces and then sew them to the bag and uh, once I have this piece done, I'm going to sew on the other piece, and when I'm finishing the other piece, I'll show you again. I'm sure you've seen it already multiple times now, but I'm going to show you how I fasten these off, and then once I have them both fastened off and in place, we can go on to making the next piece. Alright, I just sewed on both of these pieces. I just want to show you how I'm fastening this off. So let's end on the inside of the bag. Okay, just like that. It's all sewn on. Let's put this inside out for just a second here. Let's tie this off. Just like I showed you earlier, go underneath a few stitches, keep your thumb in the loop, go back through the loop, and then remove your thumb and pull tight. Okay? and then just weave in this end between the two layers between the black piece and the bag just like that and then just cut that yarn and also this little strand here I don't know if you notice that's hanging out as well just make sure that this little strand gets sewn in and hidden so we're just gonna go underneath between the two layers Okay and then just trim any extra. Just be careful with your scissors. Stretch it out and there you have both of the pieces on. So kind of looks like a duck right now <laughs> with a black beak. So alright now we can make the teeth so let's set this aside and the teeth are in white. We want white pearly white teeth. So now make a slip knot Okay, and then insert your hook. Now for the teeth, we are going to chain five. So yarn over, pull through, one, whoopsie, <laughs> two, three, four, and five. And in the second chain from the hook, we are actually going to put two single crochets in there. So I'm going to turn this chain toward me, go into that second chain for a single crochet, and then go back into that same chain for another single crochet. So there's two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. And then in there, there should be three chains left. We're just going to single crochet in those last three chains. So actually row one should have five stitches. Going on to row two, we're going to chain up one and turn our work around just like this. And in the first four stitches, we are going to single crochet. So one, two, three, 
and four, and there should be one stitch left. We're gonna put two single crochets in that last stitch. So go in for two single crochets, one and two. So you should have six stitches on row two. Going on to row three, let's chain up one and turn our work around. And we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch across. So it will have six single crochets on row three. And I'm more than halfway there, so you can just continue watching. We are going to go on to row four, chain up one, and then turn the work around. We're going to single crochet into the first four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And there should be two stitches left. We're gonna single crochet those two together. So go into this first stitch here, yarn over, pull through, go into the last stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So you should have five stitches again for row four. Okay, going on to row five, let's chain up one and turn the work around. We're going to single crochet two together. So go into this first stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And there's three stitches left. We're gonna single crochet in those last three stitches. Now we're going to single crochet around this whole piece. So let's chain one and turn our work around. And then single crochet into each one of these stitches. There should be four stitches here. One, two, three, and four. And now we're going to continue working along this edge here. Okay, so I'm gonna be turning my work. Basically, wherever your hook fits is where you should single crochet. And I'm thinking you should only need about four or five single crochets along this edge here, okay? And then, working on the opposite side, this foundation row, we're gonna work in each stitch on the foundation chain. Okay, that's four. Okay, and I'm going to single crochet over the top of this straggler as well. To finish this off, you can see I'm turning my work. We're gonna work along this edge as well. Nobody's gonna see this edge. It is going to be behind the lips, but you want to just continue working along this edge just to finish it off here. Okay, and you can see I'm working over that straggler there so I don't have to sew it in later. And then to finish this, we're going to fasten off with a long tail. So let's slip stitch to the first single crochet right here, yarn over, pull through and through, then chain one, and then cut your yarn kind of long for sewing, and then pull that all the way through, and then pull it tight. And this straggler right here, I crocheted over the top of it so I can trim that as well. Okay, then you want to just stretch this out. One end should be like rounded and one end should be flat, okay? So just make sure your tooth looks somewhat like this. Oopsie, there we go. So now you're going to need to make eight of these total, okay? I have made mine off camera here, so I have all of my, I have all of my teeth here. Okay, so there's eight teeth in total, four for the top and four for the bottom. I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how to sew on one tooth and then you can sew on the rest of them. Okay, so grab your little monster bag and we are going to line these up, okay, four to the top and four to the bottom. And they don't have to be perfect. You can kind of make them like wobbly like this, or if you want to make them nice and neat, you can as well. So I'm just going to just make sure they fit and make sure you can see a little bit of black behind it. Here, let me move this so you can see my bottom here. Okay, and you want them to fit right on the edge up top here, okay? The lip is going to cover just that edge, okay? So there's the top row. 
Okay, that's how you want it lined up. And then the bottom row will be just like that. You can use the photos for guides on how or where your teeth should lie. But I'm just yarning my needle with one of the strands of one of the teeth. I'm going to move these over here. And you can move your piece however you need it to be, okay? Move it so it's comfortable where you're going to sew it in. I have one hand inside of the bag and we are going to sew this piece on right about here. So I'm going to go into the bag just like that and then out the next stitch. And we're just going to sew it on just like our appliques of our eyes and our mouth pieces. So very simple. Just make sure that this end is rounded at the bottom there over here. Okay, those are supposed to look like the teeth. And I find it a little easier to go all the way in and all the way out instead of working like this and trying to go into the next stitch. It is a little bit more difficult this way. Okay, so just sew the teeth on and fasten them off just like I showed you on um, the mouthpiece and the eyes and everything. Just fasten them off uh, that way and sew in your ends between the layers of the fabric. And then once I have all of my teeth on this piece, we can go on to making the lips. All right, I'm just sewing in the end of my last tooth here. Remember I told you to just fasten them off and then sew in the ends between the layers, just like so. Okay, and then cut any extra. And there are the teeth. It's looking so cool so far. All right, so now if you want to, you can obviously, you know, push your teeth a um, certain way to make them look more like rounded teeth. And they should shape themselves really nicely. So now we want to make the lips. So grab some red yarn or this rouge. I'm using rouge and your crochet hook. Let me fold this up and move this aside. And for the lips, we are going to make a slip knot and then start out with a chain of 37. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three. I'm not going to make you watch me chain 37, so just chain 37 and we'll go on to row one. Now in the fourth chain from the hook right here, we are going to double crochet. So again, the loop on the hook doesn't count, so count one, two, three, and four. Right in this chain here, I'm going to turn it toward me. We're going to double crochet, so yarn over, go into that stitch, or that chain there, sorry. Yarn over, pull that through, then yarn over and pull through two of the loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. Now this right here does count as a stitch. That is our chain of three. One, two, three. That is going to count as a stitch. Uh, we're going to work in there in the next row. But for this row, we're just going to double crochet in each uh, chain across. And we should come up with about, I think it's 35 stitches across. But I'll count when I get to the end there because I want to just make sure that my stitch count is correct. The double crochets are yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, And we're just putting one double crochet into each chain. And then once I get to the end of this chain, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row two. Alright, so I was right, there should be 35 stitches, including that beginning stitch that I showed you, this little stitch looking thing right here, that counts as one. Okay, so there should be 35 stitches for row one. So going on to row two, let's chain up three. One, two, and three. We're going to turn our work around. And in this first stitch where we just chained up three in, this one right here, we're going to double crochet in there. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And now it looks like there's two stitches in that first stitch, and that's what we want. 
So now we're going to double crochet into the next three stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, next stitch is two, and the next stitch is three. All right, here comes our repeat. We're going to put two double crochets in this next stitch. So one and two. And then one double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, one, and one. Okay, and then just repeat that across. So two double crochets in this next stitch, and then one double crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, so do that all the way across. I'll meet you up at the end of this row and then we'll fasten this off. Now when you have three stitches left, you can just put two uh, double crochets in this stitch and then one double crochet in the last two stitches if you want, or you can put one in there and then two in the last stitch. That is going to be creator's choice. That's totally up to you. Nobody's going to notice if you put one or two stitches in the very last stitch. So I'm putting two just because. Because that was my repeat. Two in this one and then one in the next three. And so there should be three after here. But it's all good. So now let's chain one and cut this yarn really long for sewing. And then pull that all the way through. Okay, pull that tight, and now I need you to just rewind this, make another one exactly like this, so you have a kind of a curved thing here, and there's two of them I have here. Okay, so we have the top lip and the bottom lip, just like this. So now let's grab our bag and sew these to it, alright? So we have our bag here, and we have our lips here. Okay, so this is going to go over the top of the teeth, just like this, okay. And if you need to, you can, you know, pin this down if you want to, um, kind of just go halfway over the teeth, kind of like that, on that top one, and just like this, for this bottom one, and then you want them to attach, uh, or just be you know pretty close to each other right about there okay so that is how we are sewing these on that's how they should look okay so grab your yarn needle and start with one just sew them on just like we did the other motif pieces just in and out of the bag just make sure you don't sew your bag closed so I'm just going to start in this corner here, going in and then out, okay? And I'm just going to sew these on. Once I have both of them sewn on, I'm going to actually fasten them off. You've seen me fasten off, you know, sewing in my ends and everything, tying knots and everything. So uh, just do that how I showed you already. I'm going to sew these two pieces on. You, you can use the photos as a guide on uh, where your positioning should be. Um, but once I have these sewn on, we can go on to making the next piece. Alright, so there it is. The lips are on. And I ended up um, sewing them like together in this corner and this corner. Uh, just so that uh, when you open the mouth and everything, it doesn't really like separate. So that is something you can do as well. It's coming together so nicely. Nom, nom, nom. So now let's just make the arms and the legs. So I'm going to set this aside. And we are going to grab orange yarn. I have pumpkin uh, but you can use any color that you want and we are going to start out by making the legs first so let's make a slip knot okay insert your hook into the loop and we're going to chain two so yarn over pull through one and two and in the second chain from the hook put six single crochets so very similar to round one of the eye so one, two, three, 
four, five, and six. And we're going to be working in continuous rounds in the back loops only. I'm going to stick a piece of yarn in here to mark my rounds. And in the next stitch, so for round two, we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around. So one and two, again, back loops only. So there's two single crochets in that back loop. Hop to the next, back loop only, two single crochets for round two. We're putting two single crochets in every stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets. I'm more than halfway there, so you can just continue watching me. We can go on to round three. One and two. Okay, so you should have 12 single crochets now. So going on to round three, we're actually not increasing for round three. We're going to just put one single crochet in each stitch around in the back loop only. So for the same total, a total of 12 single crochets all the way around. So I'll do that and then I'll meet you up for round four. For round four, I'm moving my stitch marker up and we are going to increase. Let's put two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then just repeat that sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next. Okay. At the end of round four, we will have 18 single crochet, so I'm going to do that, and then I'll meet you up for round five. Alright, moving my stitch marker up for round five through 12. Okay, so the next eight rounds, we're just going to be putting one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, that's rounds five through 12. I think that's eight rounds, maybe that's seven rounds. But anyway... When I finish round 12, I'll meet you up, we'll be able to fasten this off, and then we'll be able to go on to making the arms. I just finished round 12 here. You can see rounds 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch right here to fasten off. So under both front and back loop, yarn over, pull through and through. And then chain one and cut the yarn long for sewing. And then pull it all the way through that chain. And then pull tight. And we can remove that stitch marker. And I just want to, before we do go on to making the other, the arm, like I said, uh, you're going to need to make one more of these. And I'm also going to add a little bit of detail. So I'm going to grab some yellow yarn. This is just bright yellow. And I have my yarn needle here. Okay. And we're going to go inside. Now make sure that your uh, strand that you're going to use for sewing is on one either side, this side or this side. Okay, so make sure that this long strand for sewing is on one of the sides. Flatten your piece. And we're going to make little claws. So I made a one paw off camera here. And you can see I've just embroidered like these three lines just for a little detail of a claw. So that's what I want to make right now. We're just going to go into the the leg here. Okay, and I'm going to go to the bottom right about here. Okay, and we're going to come up through here. And we're going to do it twice. So one and two. Actually, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to go over to the next one here and then down and then up okay back through and over one more and up okay it's just a small detail but I really think that it'll add a little bit of something to the monster Okay, so something just like that, okay, and then we're going to cut this yarn, and we're going to turn this thing inside out, and we're going to tie these into a knot on the inside, and nobody ever has to know 
that that's on the inside. And we can cut all these strands short. Careful with your scissors. Put that back right side out. And there's a cute little leg. Awesome. So just make another one just like that and then we can go on to making the arms. For the arms we're using the same color orange and we are making a slip knot here and then we're going to insert our hook and chain two. One and two. And just like the leg, we're going to put six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm going to insert my stitch marker. And just like round two of the leg, we are putting two single crochet in each stitch around for round two. And I'm working in the back loops only in a continuous spiral here. So I'm going to do that. Once I have my 12 stitches, we can go on to round three. Moving my stitch marker up, round three, we are going to increase again. Let's put two single crochets in this next stitch right here, one and two, and then one stitch in the next stitch, okay? And just repeat that sequence around. So two single crochets in this next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next, okay? So for round three, we're doing that repeat, and you should have 18 single crochets at the end of this round. So I'm almost done here. Actually, you can just continue watching me. And uh, we can go on to then round four, which is we're uh, just continuing with the 18 stitches. No more increasing. Okay, so last repeat right here. Okay. Round four, I'm going to move my stitch marker up, and it says rounds four through twelve, we are putting one single crochet in each stitch around, okay? So that's rounds four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So nine rounds total, we're going to put just one single crochet in each stitch working in the back loops only. Then. I'll meet you up because on round 13, we're going to start making a bend in the arm. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So uh, just do rounds 4 through 12, just putting one single crochet in each stitch, and then I'll meet you up for round 13. All right, so I did rounds 4 through uh, 12 here. Now we want to, uh, for round 13 through 17, this is just a repeat again, rounds 13 and through 17, we're going to slip stitch into 9 stitches here. So go into the stitch, yarn over, and pull through and through, but do not pull tight. We are going to be working in those stitches. So go into the next, yarn over, pull through and through. There's 2. Here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're going to single crochet in the uh, nine stitches next. So go into this next one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, single crochet into the last nine stitches of this round. Oopsie. Okay. And there we go. So was that nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Fabulous. So now we're going to repeat that. So for rounds 14, 15, 16 and 17. So the next four rounds, slip stitch into these nine stitches and then single crochet in the last nine stitches of that round. And if you needed to, you can move your stitch marker up. I did not, but uh, you can see your slip stitches. So just count your stitches and slip stitch into the first nine stitches and then single crochet into the last nine stitches. And that's for until you finish round 17. And then when you're finished with round 17, you'll see that this is starting to curve at the slip stitch section. 
and then once that once you have finished that uh, round 17 I'll meet you up and we'll do our last round which is round 18 all right, you can see I did round 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So now round 18 is very simple. It's just what we were doing before the slip stitch rounds. It's just single crochet in the back loop. Sorry, I'm moving my stitch marker up here. Okay, single crochet in the back loop of each stitch around. So very simple round here. You should still have your 18 stitches, so I'm just going to single crochet around, and then we'll be able to fasten this off. All right, to fasten off, let's slip stitch into this next stitch here under front and back loop there. Yarn over, pull through and through. And then chain one, cut your yarn long for sewing, and then pull that all the way through and pull it tight. Okay, remove that stitch marker, and there you have an arm. So now all you need to do is just rewind this, make another arm exactly like this one. And for our arms here, I have this one already done here, we have to make those claws just like I did on this one. So what we're going to do for the left arm, as you can see here, well, this would be if you're, if the monster was on you, this would be the right arm. But we're looking at it, this is the left side. So uh, we have the claws on this side. Now you can see the curve of the slip stitches on the here. That has to face the inside or the monster itself. So we, we pull our monster out here. We want the slip stitches on this arm to fit against the monster like this because you want his arms to kind of curve downward okay so curving these downward we're going to sew these on but we have to add the yellow claws on this side of this piece and this side of this piece so it's going to be opposite for each piece so just keep that in mind when you are sewing on your little yellow claws so grab some yellow yarn and we're gonna just sew those on exactly how we did it for the feet okay so we're going to just go inside it's gonna be a little difficult maybe a uh, recommendation would be to do it if you're like halfway there <laughs> but then again you wouldn't know exactly where the slip stitches lie so you're gonna kinda have to just eyeball it and there we go get all the way in there okay once you're in you're good so now just pull alright so I have to put it on this side here so I'm gonna go about well let's see here right about here and then over and down and then over once more Perfect. So then you want to end on the inside. Just pull that through. Okay, make sure they look good. And then you can switch this inside out. And cut your yarn. And I'm just going to cut my yarn. I lost my scissors here. So I'm going to cut my yarn and sew these on, and then I'll meet you up when I'm done. Oh, here. 
All right, so I sewed on the arms and the legs here. I just uh, whip stitched them um, just like I did for the straps earlier I showed you. I just whip stitched them around. You can see the stitches there. So I just whip stitched them and then uh, sewed in my ends. So I did that for both the legs and the arms. So they're attached and we're done. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and learned something. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, favorite this video, and share it with all of your friends who crochet. Uh, views are very important to us and please hit that subscribe button as well. That's very important to us. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Red Heart for the yarn for this project and thank you to my dad Vlad Osmet for filming this and editing it and for all the photos. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, happy hooking!